Prosecco certainly is uh, an amazing trend that started about five years ago and is growing as uh, many younger people, millennials, are adopting sparkling wines and Prosecco as uh, an everyday beverage that they're consuming uh, uh, with food, uh, as an aperitif, and uh, building a whole new custom. So Prosecco has had a wonderful run, and premium Italian wines, uh, some of the higher uh, prized products are also growing rapidly and are likely to continue to do so um, as the euro continues to be relatively weak compared with the U.S. dollar. Prosecco is priced at uh, a, an affordable level, most around uh, the range of nine to twelve dollars, uh, maybe a little more or less. But it's priced uh, so that it's affordable for most people, and and is being adopted by an increased group, which is uh, a, a very good trend for that segment because it used to be that sparkling wines are largely consumed at holidays or special occasions or weddings, but now they're being consumed every day, so that bodes well for the category. The total Italian wine trend, even though we've seen a decline in some of the lower price categories, is still very positive. Total Italian wines were up by two and a half million cases last year, up seven and a half percent, which is a very strong upturn over the last few years, and the likelihood is that this will continue in 2016 and beyond because of the relative weakness of the euro against the dollar. So that means they'll become more affordable. And um, as we discussed this morning, it was a very big harvest in 2015. And that means with large quantity, people will be anxious to export to this market. So I think uh, the, the outlook is very strong for the U.S. market in 2016.